लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिल थाम के बैठे क्योंकि आ रही है मिस मोनिका Hi there, I am Pratiksha Mishra and you're listening to Do I Like It, a Queen production where we review anything and everything under the sun. And in this episode I will tell you if I like Monica or my darling. Do I like it? The thing is with just the song, just the Monica oh my darling is such a great song. So to attach your film's name to something that iconic is already a huge risk. So I wanted to be skeptical about the film but then I saw the trailer and I loved every bit of it so let's see does the show stand up to that promise but before I go into that I want to tell you that you can check out our other episodes from this series as well as other podcasts from the quint on our website or wherever you get your podcast fix So let's talk about Monica oh my darling okay um Just to start off the film has a large cast it stars Huma Qureshi Rajkumar Rao Radhika Apte Sekandar Kher among a lot of other people The main plot is that Jay or Jayant played by Rajkumar Rao finds out that Huma Qureshi who plays the role of Monica is pregnant supposedly with his child and he is very upset about this he is angry as hell because it will foil his plans cuz he is dating the CEO's daughter so he's like the golden child you know the son-in-law So he gets mad about that. We later find out that Monica is also running a grand scheme which I'm so proud of her for. Like let's go girl, get that money. But obviously the men are very upset and they blame her for all their problems. Pretty soon a murder is planned. Radhika Apte enters as ACP Naidu who is trying to solve this case and pehle se hi unki shak ki nazar jay pe hai. He is like that one friend in that game Among Us who everyone thinks is the murder you know she walks in and she's like this man is sus i don't care about anything else is pe shak bethao and it doesn't help that uh, rajkumar rao's character jay always ends up in the worst situations like they don't help his case at all do i like the performances i generally think that the casting for this film is brilliant rajkumar rao plays a very similar role to what he's done earlier in like three ludo judgmental hai kya the tonality is similar but it's still written differently for the universe that the director Vasan Bala is creating and he matches step to step with whatever is asked of him the person who is noteworthy is Huma Qureshi as Monica i genuinely think that in the no- like the neo noir genre or the pulp noir genre especially when it comes to the indian context huma qureshi is perfect for these kind of roles she is glamorous but she's serious she's um she's like she's serving madonna but also she's serving oh this person might kill me you know it's all there and she does it so well i also loved that her character has such wonderful nuance and her role does require her to shift modes a lot and she does that pretty well through her character the film kind of talks about how patriarchy mein everything falls on the woman only ghapla sab kar rahe hain everybody is equally responsible but end mein they like oh monica hame blackmail kar rahi hai monica is the problem monica this monica that monica is like ha theek hai maybe it is me so what her hustle really is very commendable i'll give them that both the actors rajkumar rao and huma qureshi are like the performances are brilliant but this is complemented by the film's music and cinematography the lyrics by varun grover and the music by achint thakkar create such a brilliant atmosphere vasan bala is clearly in love with films theek hai that is very obvious from this tumko yahan dhar udhar har jagah milenge references and everything and it shows he has created such a delicious kind of noir esque and very like hindi pulp universe that works so well for this film i love this kind of stories honestly it's what like haseen dilruba was trying to do for example or um, ye kali kali aankhein was trying to do but vasan bala has managed to make it so fun like it's so well and so beautifully derivative that that one song that's there called ye ek zindagi that monica performs to i spent so much time just sitting on youtube like ye ek zindagi or original track ye ek zindagi 1980s song it doesn't exist it's an original track for monica oh my darling and i'm so impressed the way the background score or that song in particular has borrowed from rd burman and lakshmikant pyarelal and the types of those composers is very evident but in a very homage esque way and it adds a lot to the film's thrilling premise 
दैट बींग सेट फर्स्ट हाफ थोड़ा सा शॉर्ट कट मतलब कट कर सकते थे इट इज़ अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इट इज जस्ट ब्रूडिंग शॉर्ट्स एंड लाइक सीरियस ऐसा जूम इन हो रहा है लोगों के चेहरे पे ठीक है आई गेट इट यू आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट लाइक दिस और ऑफ मिस्ट्री एंड लाइक ओ आगे क्या होगा ऊ बट एट वन पॉइंट यू लाइक ठीक है आगे आगे बताओ सेकेंड टेल मी किसका मर्डर कौन कर रहा है कुछ तो बताओ यू नो ऑल ऑफ दैट हैपन सो मे बी इफ इट वॉज रिल क्रिस्पर इन द फर्स्ट हाफ द फिल्म वुड हैव बिन इम्पॉसिबल टू पुट डाउन Who does lift the film though is Radhika Apte as her entry as A C P Naidu and she really her wit and her comedic timing uplifts the film from the place where it's at. The dialogues by Yogesh Chandekar and director Vasan Bala's vision also deserve a lot of credit here because you know they created those characters. Radhika Apte is so funny. She has that line something along the lines of like, "Arey, I'm so beautiful. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? and it's just one of those examples it's it's hilarious but when she has to be like the serious cop she seamlessly goes into that sikandar khair also deserves mention cuz his performance is wonderful he is the quintessential bollywood baddie like that villain and he has like these suits and his cigarette his murder plan and you know the immense daddy issues sab hai unke paas to make the perfect villain and he does it so well The film does use red herrings very well. मतलब कुछ हो रहा होता है and you're like, oh, is this happening? And the film is like, nope, nah, J K, <laughs> this is not it. Though I do wish that the ending was different. The ending felt a little underwhelming. Maybe if they had used one of the red herrings as the actual suspense, it would have worked better. क्योंकि ठीक है thriller है, I understand. पर ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि audience को जो लग रहा है सब गलत हो. End के पंद्रह बीस मिनट में थोड़ा predictable हो सकते हो तो मैं तो ओके. In summary though. Monica my darling is so intriguing the pulpy universe delicious loved the cast everything is brilliant sure a more concise story a tighter edit would have helped but it's not a bad film i genuinely think you should watch it it's very like it's very alfred hitchcock meets um, you know those hindi pulp novels that you would see as a train station pe it's a lot of that and i think i think that's what vasan bala was going for so i'm glad that he managed to kind of capture that Even the cinematography for the film is so brilliant. It's it feels like you're inside a comic book, you know. Like I think the cinematography by Swapnil Sonavan if I'm not wrong, he gives you a cinema mixed with a comic book on screen and that's obviously fun to watch. Yaar kisko maza nahi aata wo dekhne mein. So all in all everything just kind of comes together and the flaws seem a little less flawy towards the end. So to answer the age old question, do I like it? I really really do. I feel like Okay, so I was wondering if I was given this film, would I have done it? Yes, hundred and ten percent. So of course I like it. It might have some flaws. It might also not be a cup of tea because it can be a little tough to digest. Even though I ate it up, I generally think you should give it a shot. This was all for this episode. Thank you so much for listening. Do I like it? Is a quick production, executively produced by Ritu Kapoor and Shelly Walia. Hosted by me, Pratiksha Mishra. Produced and edited by Anjali Palod. And music. from Netflix and BMG production You were listening to the Quinn's podcast